Hey guys, Alderman Rio back here on the Pagan Perspective Collab channel. I am your Friday host. Welcome to another Friday. Uh, this week's topic is a very different topic. We are now allowed to ask you guys the questions. So, um, as we have done this in the past, I believe I asked a question about thought forms. I want to know if you guys like thought forms. Like l last year, um, I was very happy to see all of the different people who have been experimenting with thought forms. Um, maybe even had a couple videos on my personal channel when I talked about demons and things and people described their use of them and the once a few people had had acknowledged that the um had acknowledged that the information I provided was accurate and that they appreciated someone providing accurate information. So I'm very excited to see that you guys ha have been engaging in kind of the fringe of paganism because I kind of feel like because I'm no longer uh specifically Wiccan, I'm kinda like out on the fringes, you know, I'm talking about things like possession and demons and and energy work and uh, things that are just not really talked about a lot in the, uh, at least on this particular channel or in the pain community in general. So I'm, I'm excited to see some of you guys are actually with me on this fringe, on the outer fringes, if you will, of paganism in general. So all of my questions are going to kind of be in that vein. And they're going to be a little bit different um, than what you've seen uh, in the past on the particular channel, especially this, especially this, this week is going to be a bit different. So let's jump straight in. Let's just jump straight into the first question. You may be aware that there is a new virus that's like crisscrossing the earth right now. People, many people are infected, and 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 you know that there's different areas being quarantined as, as we speak. What rituals or ritualistic items do you carry on your person to protect you or to kind of strengthen your aura with the idea of, of protecting you from being sick? So in other words, do you do anything? Do you bathe in anything to try to ward off uh, sicknesses and viruses and other diseases from entering your energy body and your physical body? Um, I think that would help a lot of people because it, this virus could very well be pretty big. I mean, right now, at, at the time that I'm recording this, I believe uh, over 30 million people have been quarantined in China. Uh, several cases have been found um, throughout Asia, uh, I mean, Taiwan, Thailand, Japan, we've got two confirmed cases here in the United States right now. So it's kind of a big deal, guys. So if, if you have a personal protection ritual, if there's ritualistic items that you carry on your person that you know that to be proven to kind of buff, you know, in the gaming world, we call it buff your attributes of being protected. So, um, you know, people who play RPGs would be familiar with that word as well to, to kind of buff up your protective uh, energies. What do you do? Uh, go ahead and put that down below. Again, if you want to do a video response, or people would love to see you. They would love to hear your voice um, to learn how to protect themselves better because this virus could be coming for you and your loved ones. The second question is for the paranormal fans out there, for the folks who like watch, uh, you know, these ghost hunter stories, these different ones where like people reach out and they're able to see different beings on the other side and, and like get sketches and things and actually show what they look like. Um, for those people, for those fans of those shows, uh, would you be interested in actually watching a pagan led version of that? For example, someone who is uh, a practicing pagan who practices different magical skills, would you be interested in watching someone go in and cleanse a home on a show? I know that these episodes, these different, um, shows on, on the, on the, on the travel channel have dealt with that in the past, but they don't specifically focus on the process of cleansing the home so if that is something that you want to see let me know um if, and if you have any ideas uh go ahead and provide those as well i would love to know what you think uh what do you think a pagan or a team of pagans or at least one or two pagans being on the video team what do you think they can bring to a show like that that you haven't seen before i would love to know your thoughts down below again the video response was quite welcome with that question and the third question um, is kind of kind of connected to a question that you asked us last week about being able to see, hear, or feel things from the other side. Um, my particular question is, 
Which one of these do you have? Do you have all of them? Can you see spirits? Can you hear spirits? Can you smell different things from the spirits, such as like baking food or uh, sometimes you can get the negative stuff, like sometimes you can smell the decay and the death and things. Which one of these abilities do you have? Um, and if you have any of them, um, have you found that it's hard for people to believe uh, that you have these abilities? That 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 is... The question so i suppose that's kind of two point two and a half questions guys so do you have any of these abilities and do people believe you uh, again a video response is more than welcome down below um don't feel bashful if you are worried about talking about that kind of thing there's plenty of uh authors out there who have stepped out uh into the world and kind of explained to the world that they can do uh, certain things or they have the ability to do things that are kind of considered taboo or kind of in the neither realms like kind of crazy ish um, again i know i've said her name multiple times but michelle ballinger has many books where she, where she talks about her abilities um and if you feel comfortable we would love to hear it you never know you might be pushing that one or two people over who say hey i've been doing this for years i want to step out into the limelight and speak on it you know no one's asking you to become like a superhero, you know, and save the world. But if you do have these abilities, it could help people who have been gifted with them since birth, but didn't feel comfortable with talking about it, especially, you know, how hard it is when people realize that you don't follow a complete Christian path to even say that you can see spirits is a big, big deal to some people. So um, the community could actually be helped by you, um, almost coming out of the closet if you were explaining that you're one of these people who have been gifted with these abilities so go ahead and put that down below video response if you can um a comment is also welcome i will go ahead and end the video now for you folks because i don't want to hold you up anymore i believe next week is subs week so i'll see you guys after next week you guys have a safe and wonderful weekend blessed be